Alright, we got a flashlight. <laughs> All music tracks. <laughs> tracks. Tracks in this. <sighs> hey, what is going on, guys? It's Asensio back with another horror game, this time from a good developer. <laughs> if you guys don't know what Fears to Fathom is, it's literally horror stories sent in by people from the internet to the developer, and he makes horror games out of them. That's a freaking huge business idea. Why didn't I think of that? I don't know, maybe because I don't make video games. But anyways, we're here to play this. This is gonna be awesome. Make sure you drop a fat like and a fat sub because we passed 150 subscribers. You know how insane that is. I love you guys. Let's get into this game. Fears to Fathom, episode five, Woodbury Getaway. What happened to episodes one through four? I don't know. <laughs> December 8th. All right, all right. Ah, needed a coffee to get done with the day. Space to get up. All right. Oh, snap. This is sick. Where the freak are we? Yo, look at the attention to detail. This is insane. Where where are we headed? I don't know where we're headed. What is this? A button? Look at this. We can literally interact with the stuff. This is so cool. Oh. We got a bag of chips, tea to throw, a... Wait, we can drink this? Right mouse button? Scroll up to drink? <sighs> Yo, this is sick though. Oh, we need a coffee. Needed to prepare a cup of coffee. All right, all right, let's throw this. We don't need that. All right, we put this. Oh, we, uh, we, we grab this, throw that in there, right? Oh, here we go, here we go. There you go. And then we put this here. Oh, we need water. We need water, right? Uh, what? All right, we got our water. We pouring it in the Keurig. We put the cup there and we start it. Dude, this is insane. I love these type of games where they add this much detail. We need to put a lid on it. Oh, you're one of those people. I gotcha, gotcha. Boom. Hey, we're gonna drink this piping hot. Boiling hot, even. Look, there's a freaking dude walking down there. That's sick. Needed to use the restroom. Where the frick is the restroom? Bro's acting like I know where the everything is. Yo, it's scary, dude. It's dark, dark. Where the frick are the bathrooms? All right, throw that. Sorry. Uh, oh, right here, restrooms. Look at that, see? They even help us. Awesome, all right, let's go to the bathrooms. Take a little dump. Uh, what are we? <laughs> Uh, I think we were a woman. We sounded like a woman. All right. Let's, let's, couldn't do it with the door wide open. Look at that detail, man. I'm not gonna get... A... A dookie meter? <laughs> Yo, there's a dude in the women's bathroom. Hello? Dude, I don't want to get out. Close the lid. Yo, jump up. Peek over. Hello? Oh my god! Oh my god! Bruh. Oh, yo. This is gonna give me a heart attack, man. Whoa, well, ma'am. Sorry. You didn't know anyone was in here. <laughs> you almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in, but... There isn't usually anyone here this late. <laughs> yes, you should have not. No, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have uh, slipped my mind. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing these coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Oh, snap. Let, let's be honest. Let's be honest. That's actually me. <laughs> Did someone raise you in a barn? There's trash cans all over the office. Act like an adult and use them. Sorry. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. Dude, who just pulls up that fast? Like, oh, we the stall opens and then he's like... Wow, that was a good one. Already? Like, dang. Oh, we got a phone call. We got a phone call. All right. Since since he was a nice guy after all, let's let's throw a trash 
Oh my gosh. Throw it. There you go. He's not doing his job, clearly. Look how many cans there's in there. All right, let's answer this. Who the freak is calling this late? Uh, hello? Ooh, should we be professional or just be like, who's calling? <laughs> let's do hello. Hey, Arp, it's Mike. Voice acting. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my... <sighs> My phone's been acting up lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, it even cut out on a client e earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Bruh. Not really. Um... About our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. Yo, and I can hear Nora. the janitor in the back. You and Nora? Uh... I was gonna do it after work, I guess? No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Alright. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just I mean, the guy doesn't sound bad so far. Before Nora gets there. Yeah, uh... Sure. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Thank you. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. What up? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Under $100, all right. Nora and I were talking and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. <laughs> Just hang up. <laughs> sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. Bruh. Bruh. Excited, I guess. Alright. Alright, talk to you later, Harp. Hang up. That is hilarious, dude. Type invader? What the freak is this? Oh! Hold on. Wait, what do we... Oh, family! Family! Day! Yo, this is cool! I used to play games like this when I was- Oh my gosh! Pair- Oh! The, uh, uh, ring! Uh, certain! Race! Woohoo! We're too good, we're too good. Ass soup! Oh, that was close. Alright, what's next? What's next? Are we getting in a car? Is there any- Hey! That was that was fun. That was fun. So we need to search for apart or no, not apartments, hotels. Uh, ho, ho, oh, rental cabins.com. Search the internet. All right, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's. Uh, where are we going? We're going to Woodbury. Let's search that. Yo, I'm not even typing it. I'm just clicking my keyboard. Ooh, dang! $350 a night? $249, $199. Oh, here we go. Private cabin in Woodbury. Holy... Well, this is the only one we can afford. Two reviews, three stars? Yeah. Uh, everybody got a pitch in. Oh, well, I guess we're getting this one. At least read the reviews. All right, we booked it. Oh, we got a printer too. Sweet, sweet. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic run uh, down of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if it's uh, if some of it it's written weird, but I was rushed. Yo, this is the dude that that it happened to, the girl. Uh when I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave me didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of expense of my mental space. I'm Sydney Harper, and this is <laughs> and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take the, a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, 
Close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Oh, and now it's two days later. All right, all right. Is this Mike? Afternoon. Quite chilly today, eh? Are we in Canada? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, I haven't seen you around, but haven't got, a, haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. Just leave? Uh, I'm Sydney. Nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. How do you know? I've just seen you a few times getting off at the 10th. What is this music? At the 10th floor when I'm home late for work. What do you do for work? Me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? I work at the consulting firm downtown. Oh, I see. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. Look at this, dude. Oh, yo, that's cool. Wait, escape to... Oh, I forgot my suitcase in the elevator at first. Oh, no. Uh, Michael's calling me? All right, hang up, Michael. No! Alright, Michael, uh, escape. Yo, what? Oh, my bro. Who's this? Hey, hold on. Let's read these messages. Uh, rent a cabin. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Woodbury from December 10th to 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to just confirming your time is 3 p.m. Yes, that's correct. The key will be in the lockbox for the door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Great, thank you. I'm off to work now. Okay, I'm heading that way. Oh, so we had we had stuff with Michael. Yo, Harp. Take your time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Dude. Stop talking. Look how many times he's texted. Clearly, we are not interested in, in Michael. Michael is kind of sketchy now. Yo, uh, pulling into the parking garage. You downstairs yet? Okay, so this is Michael. Harp. Hug, I guess. Alright. That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Alright, yeah, this dude... Nah. Nah, this dude is the where my hug at guy. I'm gonna just say nothing. You look good. Uh, thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't I have it any other way? It'll be nice to have company on the way. Uh, alright. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Alright, sounds good. Wait, we don't have stuff though. Alright, let's, I think it's in the elevator still. Can we just call it? Oh, here we go, here we go. Got it, got it. Yeah, I left it in the elevator. <laughs> this guy is weird. Give me the heebie-jeebies. Alright then, harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Uh, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. All right then, Harp. Yo, this dude is creepy. I'm not gonna lie. This dude is making my nose sweat. 4.26 p.m. Oh, snap. Hey. Uh, this I clicked on the cowboy. This was actually a gift from my coworker Ricky. Said he found it at a garage sale and it reminded him of me somehow. Okay, what? You're a cowboy or something? Yo, this is nice though. I like this. I like this. Yo, dude, stare at the road. Harp, isn't it weird we used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are? Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Uh, we couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Funny how, uh, funny how that works. Oh, Rick, change is just hard. Like trying to adjust to the new job. Um, speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're. Oh shoot. What? What? What was that? Uh, did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus. Uh, school bus back there by the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Alright, oh wait, we got a, we got a message. 
nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything is okay. The road's near Woodbury. Can oh! What? Dude! Oh, snap! That, that was close. You know. I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Okay, uh, we're on our way. We should be there around 6 p.m. The snow slowed us in quite a bit. Uh, thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in. Uh, how far is it now? It should be about an hour and a half. <laughs> all right, all right. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. I, I can see that. You know, sometimes when I'm in the passenger seat, I tend to do that too. It's kind of beautiful. Alright. <laughs> 5.14 p.m. Woo! Alright, so we've been traveling for a while. Where the, where the house at? Yo, Harp, check that out. What? 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 The... What? Oh. Moe's Pizza! Hey, Let's get some... Oh, we're getting some pizza? Alright. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like... It's like living in the future! I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. This is why you ain't getting no game, bro. This guy is so cheesy. All right. Oh, look at what a gentleman. Thank you. I I guess. Oh my gosh. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Is that queso? You have any recommendations? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. <laughs> All right. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold, the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You folks, you fine folks, know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggie, and a veggie. And for you, miss, only the cheese. I'm trusting that guy. All right. What's your second slice? Cheese. And the third? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> and he drinks for you, folks. Uh, that should cover us. Just the pizza today, thanks. All right, then six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty for six slices. You can get a large a Little Caesars for like less. All right, hey, I guess that was expensive freaking pizza. These pieces better be huge. Your order number is twenty-seven. Just grab a seat, and we'll call you up uh, when your pizza's ready. All right, sounds good. It smells so good in here. <laughs> I keep hitting the frick out of my mic. Oh, here we go, here we go, Nora. Uh, we're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you're going. Okay. Ooh, Nora. Oh, oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way! Ugh, I'm so sorry you guys. Nora, please be careful, I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry, I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Oh, oh, thanks, gentlemen, man. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. All right. <laughs> Order number 27, you folks are right here. All right. Three slices of cheese pizza. Or three, oh. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, here's my pizza. All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. All right, something shady is going on already. Oh, so we got, okay, we got three slices of pizza in a cardboard box. Are you kidding me? Oh, dang.
dang this pizza slaps can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb <laughs> Watch your profanity. on this bomb pizza I know right oh we're not even done eating it dang harp you actually eat the crust all right who doesn't eat the crust bro y'all weirdos man it's literally just bread like why wouldn't you eat it uh it's kind of wasteful not to don't you think i need a tire if i was <laughs> it's kind of wasteful no i guess but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange would you bro these munching sound effects oh my gosh hey there my friends hello i saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck are you just watching who pulls in and taking notes not at all my friend i just noticed you seem to be heading in the same direction i was Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse and twice as nice. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Surely you can just... Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Heck, I'll ride in the in the bed. It's my uh we would, but there isn't any space. There there's no space. We have a single cab. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the You gotta be crapping me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? You ain't too- you ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. You got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired. Yeah, thanks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that was weird. He didn't even order anything. Yeah, I don't feel bad for him. That dude- Suck an egg, man. There's not even a third seat. We have we never mind. We don't even have a, a third seat because it's a stick shift. Finishing up our pizza. We're eating the bread like a normal person. Right mouse button to burp. Oh, he's gonna say something. This pizza was perfect fuel for our leg. For what? I didn't read it. All right, burp. Uh. Uh. <laughs> dot 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 holy that was good all right then are you ready to hit the road maybe we can beat the worst of the snow yo are we driving give me the keys Harp, the weather is awful why don't you drive part of the way home i'm going to drive so you can take a break take a break while i drive michael look at this dude <laughs> just pushing him what is going on you'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Whatever. Take keys. Hey, we driving now? Let's go. Yeah, give me the stick shift. I'm crashing this car. All right, this dude better not be out here, man. Where the freak did that weirdo go? <gasps> Wait, there he is. He's not even walking. He's moonwalking. <gasps> Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's see this. Let's see this. Oh, no. Oh, he's about to get hit by the car! Come on, let's go. Look at the dude! Yo, he's he's gonna meet up with us and be like, Hey man, there was space in the back. Good evening, Vermont. Oh, shoot. This is your host, oh, we're driving. KWB, oh. your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this chilly night. As All we right. embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So Yo, we drive and stick to too. That's cool. Feel right at home. All right. Coming up next. Music? Woo! I like this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. You you were driving too close, man. I don't want to talk about who's on the ride. Yo, this is not copyright? I hope not, because this, this slaps. Whoa, 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 I didn't see the sign. Oh, Woodbury to the right. Jesus sets free, shackled by lust. 
Amen. Amen to that, man. Amen. All right, I think it's this. And this should be it. I thought we were just gonna keep driving there. It was a very cold house, or night, and it was a quaint little house. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, that dude better not be following us. That dude from... Oh, wait, we have the we have the code. Hold on. All right, let's go here. Let's put that down there. We need the code. What was the code? All right, uh, left mouse... Hold left mouse button to slide. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right, five... One... Seven... Six... Hey, we got it. House keys, let's go. All right, open the door. Here we go. Nice. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. This dude is like a simp, man. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. Alright, take that luggage, man. Alright, let's uh let's take this. We're gonna have to put these in the fridge. Alright, uh had to open the cooler for it. Yo, we can open it? <gasps> Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go, there we go. There we go. Alright, we take this. That's it. Oh, oh. Oh, he's using the bathroom. What the? Woo! Sorry about that, Harp. Alright. Uh, long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Uh, well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Uh, hang on, I really need to pee. Oh, you can uh, go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. Alright, I guess we're going to the bathroom too. Uh, the smell alone told me pizza really did a number on Mike. <laughs> Dude. Alright. Yo, it kind of... Text Rick? Who's Rick? <gasps> oh, Rick. Here. Hi, we've checked in. Alright, we went to the bathroom. Put the lid down. Wash our hands. Wash our hands. There you go. Perfect, perfect. Alright. We're good now. Oh! Shoot, man. Feel much better after the drive? Much better now. Uh, I'm good. Wanna check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. Shoot, I don't know, man. What? Oh, he's following me? Yo, what is this? Let's go. Let's go in here. What's over here? Hey, no. Ooh, it's dark in here. Is there a light? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This guy must like fishing. It can be fun. Whoa, bait and fish knowledge? Dang. All right, he's got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, okay. Why, why is there water running? <gasps> Yo, there's a guitar here. Who just leaves a guitar out here? Ooh, gasoline. What? Can I get in the water? Hey. Oh. It's been a while since I went fishing, actually. Me too. Well, we're in the water. Oh, we should get out of the water. Hypothermia. This is cool. I like this. All right, we already saw the kitchen. Here's the living. Ooh, I love little cabins like these, man. They're so nice. Oh, all right. That's... What the? What is this? Oh, <gasps> yo, Ouija board. Throw that back. Oh, these games are cool, though. Catapoli? Snakes and ladders? It's getting really cold. Ouija. Whispers in the dark. Chess. Yo, we playing this game or what? All right, we up here. What's... All right, what? Why are these rooms so small? This house is freaking huge. <gasps> Ooh, we got a flashlight, though. Hey, look at this freaking ugly face. All right, we got a flashlight. <laughs> I just smacked the freak out of my mic. Oh. Oh, hey, you're here. Who are you? Welcome to my home sweet. Look at his freaking eyes, man. Home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, no, we're not a couple. We're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh. Hmm. 
I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remembered the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few folks left it a bad word for it. Alright, uh, you know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Uh, speaking of that, now what? Now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Alright, hey, hey! Everyone's so pushy here. Host was a middle aged man with a nervous energy. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Wow. That jump scare got me. Oh, shoot. My bad. Look, Harp. This room has a nice freaking view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Alright, hold on. Let me pick this up. Alright, the deck is... In the laundry room? Holy sm- Oh, look at this angle. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. <laughs> Dude, look at this camera angle, though. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. Alrighty, folks. Let's head back in before I catch a cold out here again. Yo, turn off the TV, though. Oh, we're... Why is there a freaking bar for your audio, man? That is not cool. All right, what's this? Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight right here in my on my right. Storm like these, you never know. Thanks. I already have the flashlight. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. So we got the kitchen. Alrighty folks, I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob, turn the knob up for more cooling and down for to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter, the bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. It is a long freaking tour, man. No access to guests. Yo, there's there's dead people in there. What what's up? Um Nothing to worry about down here, just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever just stops working, just hit the bottom- uh, hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right back up and you'll be right back in business. Oh my gosh, are you coming miss? Yeah, I guess. Hey sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you- uh, you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep the upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. I couldn't open the door. Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. <laughs> Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. That's scary, folks, but if I were you... If I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Eh. <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. All right. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around six out of ten. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that dang cat. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, oh, he's not done talking? Dang. What was the name of the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha, <laughs> Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. <laughs> this dude, the way he looks at me is hilarious. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyways, let's go see if there's anything good to watch on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Alright, let's take a shower with the flashlight. 
I was keen on taking a shower upstairs. Oh, okay. Oh, it's right here. Oh, dang. The shower door was open. I mean, we have our clothes on. It's not like that. <laughs> Should have taken off our clothes. Hey, we clean now, though. Let's go. All right. All right. How we feeling? The tap didn't work. Oh, yeah. The sink doesn't work. I forgot about that. All right. We're good. Um, let's see. What's... Uh, oh! Yo, what a... Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to this trip. I don't know, it's cold out there. Come on, Harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? I guess it could be fun. Heck yeah, follow me. There's another road in, in a rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. All right. You want to grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Oh, we need bait too. Oh snap. I saw a killer rep recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp though. You up for the challenge? Yeah. Well, first things first, we need right bait for this. Check out the information. Whenever you are ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp harp. Yeah, don't make any rhymes with my name. All right, all right here, the common carp. They like sweet corn. Okay, so we need corn. Um, sweet corn right here, right? Whoa, what the? All right, let's get this. We got corn as bait. Nice, nice. Here we go. Oh, there's a little yellow piece of corn on the on the hook. That's so cool. Attention to detail. Awesome. All right, we out here. A. Hey. All right, how we fishing? How we fishing? I hope these carp are biting today. I guess. I I don't know. I wish I could go fishing, man. Alright, let's cast. I, yeah. Hey, Harp, don't forget. We need three carp for the recipe. Alright, I'll see you guys once I get some carp. Hit, hit, hit. Alright, alright. We got we got something. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. No, no, no. Oh, this is easy, easy. Hey, we got a carp. Yes. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Hey, common carp. There you go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot. This better be it. This better be it. Hey, we did it. All right, harp. Looks like we got three. You want to head back in and and yeah, let's do it. I mean, is there like an achievement that we need for this? Yo, the music just got freaky though. What is what is going on? Oh my gosh, throw, throw the rod. We don't need it. Get get the flashlight. What is going on? What? All right, go, 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 go. What? While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping uh, the marinade? What? Sure, I guess. I'm not sure how to do that. Just take a bowl and throw it, and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. On it. Hey, we did it. Here you go. You mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop on the veggies? Give me one fish. Two fish. Put that on. And then uh, veggies. You get the veggies. I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Throw that bowl. Put the veggies. A. Put that in here. Close that. Boop, 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 boop. Yay, we did it. We did it. Alright, what's. Those carp are going to taste amazing. Yes, uh, while we wait for it to cook. How about we play some board games? I saw some in the living room. <gasps> uh, I guess we could. Okay, let me see. Yep, just grab whatever catches the eye. You already know what the freak we're about to play. Let's play the Ouija board. Let's play Ouija. Oh, snap. Is that a Ouija board? Molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual BS. Hey, remember how that dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? That's a great idea! <laughs> Alright, let's go! 
Yeah, let's go try this in the spooky. Wait, where's our flashlight? I want my flashlight. Hold on. Oh. Are you scared already? <laughs> no. I wanted to get my flashlight. Uh, you know what will make this even spookier? Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. Oh, great. All right, where's the freaking light switch, man? All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, you're asking to be killed, dude. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Uh, yes. Okay. All right, then, you go first. <laughs> okay, uh... Ooh, what should we say? Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? What'd it say? He's moving too fast. Oh, we're controlling the hand. It's going way too fast. No way. Are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. All right, now it's his. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. Yeah. Um. What is going on? I can move it with my mouse, but like, it's being weird. Uh, did you live in this house? What's the? Are you friendly? Yo, this is weird. My turn. All right. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Holy crap. What the heck? Wait for me. I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. Oh my gosh, I'm crouched. But I'd be lying if I didn't feel uneasy that- Look at this dude, he got scared. There's some freaky crap going down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. What the heck, Harp? I figured you would've moved your butt too. Would've been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. Oh, the food's done. Yo, you heard that though? Yo, let's go down here. Hold up, hold up. Let's get the flashlight. Let's get the flashlight. Something moved. Oh my gosh! Jeez, man. I was like, I heard someone walking down here. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat it? Sure, let's do it. Yo. That was kind of... Let's turn on the light. Alright. Let's, uh... Oh wait, we gotta watch... We gotta turn on the TV. We're just watch sitting here. Erica's chocolate cake. With a spoonful of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. This delicacy is very popular what in Rome. What the heck? With Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste like shit. <laughs> but there you are. You are listening to a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't Is that Berlizzi? Requires a lot of patience. And hey, we got the fish though. What you will need is... Gasoline. Gasoline? Ramen! What? Berlizzi, what are you making, man? Harp, that was some dang fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. It was alright. It was really good. We make a great team. This is what makes me want to disrespect you, bro. Hey, anyways. I need to check out my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work, I'm just watching on my shipment details for my new DS. Dang. I'll be right back. Alright. Uh, I'll clean up here. Sure. Alright, Burleys, I'm turning off oh, your damn. freaking crazy show, man. Hey, we did it. Alright! <gasps> we got a message. Michael J. Carter? I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? <gasps> oh, shoot. Let's go, let's go. Where you at? Walk. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't make sounds. Walk slow. All right, all right. Oh, he's gonna scare us. Oh, oh. Yep, and I knew it. 
You're lucky I didn't break your nose, man. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. Totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Whatever. Come on, it was just a joke. Wanna go for a next round? Next round? About the game of hide and seek. I'll get you back for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. Oh, shoot. He's hiding. Go. Go. I decided to hide in the basement. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? I decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. I got you that wasn't even a challenge I figured you wouldn't be <laughs> you would be good at this since I never found you in the city I'll find you in the city maybe you need to look harder all right my turn to hide now you better close your eyes and start counting what if we just follow him never mind Three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, snap. It's gonna be freaky. Oh, it's gonna be freaky. What up? Oh, look who's here. Got you. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No. Kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. <gasps> Can't reach it without a step stool? Uh, we got it. Oh, right here, right here. Yo, what? Alright, let's open this door, man. Alright, let's go. Yo, this is crazy, though. Oh my gosh. Yo, we up here by ourselves, dude? Hello? Oh, there's a cat. Oh, the cat that the old man was looking for. Oh, little kitty. Yo. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. Looks like you aren't the only... <laughs> what do you mean by that? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried for there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh, yeah? Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Again? I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Yo, we going that far this time? Dang. All right. We're here now. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Where he at? Oh, we can go over here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look at this dude. Oh, oh! there's a dude in the house. There's a dude in the house. There is a dude in the house. Yo, dog. Aha, there you are. Dang, Harp. It took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. Uh, I'm getting tired. Yeah, I don't want to play this. Look, 
I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. Yo, this dude is a child. Yo, we're we not gonna talk about the dude that was in there. Ready or I'm coming. Whatever. <laughs> All right. So, no bueno. We saw a random dude in the house, and we're just not gonna comment on that for some reason. So, what do you guys think? He's in the truck. Nope. Yo, we're gonna. Hello. <laughs> oh! Jeez, man. What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Why the heck are you back in here again? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. Dude, this is why Air Airbnb is failing. Because of these people. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? I didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't... You don't know what tools you'd need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> Look. We need to go... We, do you think you could come fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and we would like it to have it to ourselves. I... We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Yeah, that's true. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like fixing, like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it to you. Good. Good. Freak out of here, old man. Weirdo. Nah, we changing the locks now. <laughs> you losing this house. We're gonna be like those uh those those people that that just stay here and sublet the house forever and ever, and then we get the house. Yeah, take a freaking hike, man. Take a freaking hike. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Yo, the fact that this happened. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling pretty tired. I decided to get some rest. Oh, shoot, man. 11.39 p.m. No, he's coming back. He's coming back. Whoa, whoa, what? Space to get up? What is going on? Oh, it's snowing. Oh my gosh. Yo, he freaking scared me. Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. You mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. Yo, the black silhouette? I thought it was the old man. It's freaking... The, s the storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. Oh, Nora is not even here. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. That's nice of you, Mike. Okay. I'll, I'll say okay. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. Yeah, it's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the place like he owns the place? If what? Keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Uh, he does own the house. Uh, you know exactly what I mean, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the dang house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. Uh, I really need to sleep now. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Whoa. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? This dude already making moves? Alright. Uh, I guess... Uh, what? Harp, you know. I've missed this. 
us just talking. It's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. <laughs> Bro's making a move. Uh, would you be doing this if Nora was here? <laughs> Yo. Whoa, the music. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. Uh, I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Oh, we get in a text. Uh, oh Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Uh, SOS? Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half a foot deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask. Can you two come get me? That's crazy. You're stuck out there now. I ain't going out. Bruh. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Uh, no we can't. We better get ready. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our butts off. Uh, it's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Dude. Alright, whatever. So, uh, we'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. All right, good luck, man. <laughs> Look at that freaking storm, dude. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Uh, yeah, I think I'll crash for a bit. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. It's not like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. <sighs> this dude is weird, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. He's a... Uh, I should go to sleep now. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep. Drive safe, Mike. Yeah, this guy is weird. See ya. I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Oh my gosh. That is freaky. All right, we close the door. Let's go to sleep. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up. And I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Holy. This is going to be insane. All right. Oh my gosh, get up. Get up! Are they here? Someone was at the front door. I don't see the truck. Who's here? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh... I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. No? Like, what? I'm not inviting a stranger inside. No. Lock the door. Do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend. I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the, of the night. But I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends. But they ain't running behind. Wait, what? From us? Uh, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you freaking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. Whoa! I should have known you'd be a big, as big a bee here as you'd be back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? 
I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still unkind. Get out of here or I'll call the cops. Yo, but they said the cops aren't even here. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here e either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. Yo, that's crazy. Get the freak on, man. I better see you walk away. There you go. What a freaking idiot, man. Who walks in a, in a snowstorm? This guy's at... But let me tell you, let me tell you some. You'll get what's coming for you <laughs> for leaving me out here. Karma's a bee, my friend. Sayonara, buddy. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. That dude is insane. Yep, close the door. Turn off the light. Go to bed. No way, dude. No thanks. Alright, we're going to sleep. Or... Get in. Go. Oh. Get up. Who the freak was that? Get up. Something happened. What? Messages. What? Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come over? There's someone we met driving down here who's banging on the door and I'm pretty... And he started threatening me. I'm pretty scared to hear... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty scared and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? This dude is not gonna help us. He freaking threw a snowball, man. Is he inside the house? Oh my gosh. Get the flashlight. Who's here? Oh, despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him was a relief. Open door. Oh my goodness. What the heck's going on here? Uh, did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone or no one at all. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Are you kidding me? How you gonna say that, Rick? Pulling up with a hammer. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. He went to pick up our uh, other friend. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? What is... Why is he looking around? Oh my gosh, they're in on it together. I just know it, man. They're in on it together. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Dang. Alright, we warming up? Oh, what? What? Oh my gosh, come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Oh! Hold up, hold up, hold up! Wait, wait! Listen, 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 listen. Alright, no! Get away! Get away, man! Get away! Rick? Listen, oh, wait, you're not even Rick, though. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Yo! Hold on, thumbnail right here? Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're they're almost here. Is that so? Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming by, though. Uh, I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? <laughs> yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything's really okay. What do we say? What do we say? Yeah, uh, you need to leave right now. What did you just say? Confront him about it. 
This is my freaking house, and I will leave what I want. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house, and you. Oh, man. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. Get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. What are we supposed to do? I'm asking you. All right, let's try going to the basement this time. So he runs. All right, let's, let's go in here. No, no, go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Go, he's coming. Go. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, we got, we got to go. Was, was that, was the room to the left? Oh my gosh, we went the wrong way. Wait, 
Why can't we text these dudes that there's a dude in the house? I ain't open to the door. Are we supposed to go down? He freaking left, dude. Oh my gosh, he left. <sighs> yes. We survived. Dude, that took me so long. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we secretly saw lived in the cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after he, that he said he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than what he was letting on but in the end he gave us a full refund <laughs> i'd hope so man oh my goodness oh my gosh it was pofu i told you queso berlizzi Dude, this is insane. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. This is the longest I've ever recorded. So <laughs> make sure to hit the like and the subscribe. I got to go to sleep, man. It's late. I will talk to you guys later. Love you. See ya.